On behalf of the Army Arlington ladies and our entire Army family, I express to you and your family our deepest sympathy. It is hard. It's, uh, I've had funerals where it's, you come to tears. We're so very grateful that he chose to serve and sacrifice in defense of our precious freedom. We soften that scene. We're, we, we soften it because we're just another member of the family. One day, your heartache will be overshadowed by the memories. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be your Navy Arlington lady. They just like to see us there. We, we had a more human touch, I guess, but it's personal touch. When they open that letter, it just reinforces that feeling that we hope they got that they were loved and someone was there to show them how important their loved one's service and sacrifice was to our Air Force and our country. With each pen stroke, the hands of an Arlington lady pour out the heartfelt emotions of a grateful nation. The ladies, volunteers who represent each branch of the service, craft a handwritten note for the next of kin. Just one of the things they do to add a personal touch to a day that for many families is one of the hardest of their lives. It's very hard. I've, I've um, had tears in my eyes and, and they do too and I think they, they understand that and we meet them at that, that uh, point and we're also able to talk with them, which I love. We talk with them before the funeral so they, they know and it's, we're consistent. We see them before the funeral and we are at the gravesite. So I think that's comforting to them also. It's that expression of love and support that actually was the impetus for the creation of the Arlington Ladies. Back in the 1940s, General Hoyt Vandenberg and his wife would walk through the cemetery. They noticed airmen being buried with no family present, only the bugler and the firing party. Mrs. Vandenberg thought that was incredibly sad. So she determined that since they were airmen, she was their family. And she began to attend the Air Force funerals at Arlington Cemetery. Quickly, she realized that that was a huge job she was taking on, so she recruited her friends to attend for her. Those friends became the Arlington Ladies. And what proudly started with the Air Force spread to every branch of the military. What they do hasn't changed much over the years, and neither has the need. Our motto is that no soldier will ever be buried out here alone. Many times there can be just the Arlington Lady the chaplain, cemetery rep, and that's it. And I would say they're the most meaningful. Unfortunately, it's more often than you might think. And there are reasons. Sometimes the family can't get here. Sometimes the next of kin is very elderly and can't travel. Unfortunately, there are times when the family can't afford to come. So an Arlington lady comes, sometimes to make sure that no one is buried here alone at other times, so that no family leaves here feeling lonely. It's a bond that often lasts long after the fading of taps. We had a lady who buried her husband here. And every year on their wedding anniversary, she would write the Arlington lady and say, could you please put a rose on my husband's grave? It is for our 45th, 46th, 47th anniversary. And so when we found out that that year coming up was going to be their 50th wedding anniversary, we put a bouquet of red roses on his grave and we sent her a bouquet of red roses. The pomp and the circumstance is what the family expects. The personal touch, that's always a surprise for them. 